All right, everybody, I wanted to show you a Zippo I got today from the pawn shop. It is a Niagara Falls Slim 1978. Uh, you can see on the bottom there, sorry, it's upside down. You can see on the bottom there, see the two slashes slanted to the right on each side? There's two there, and then there's two on this side, right there and right there. Those two to the side mean 1978. Uh, you could figure that out. You just go to Zippo.ca. They have the the thing that shows you the dates for all the regular and all the uh, slim Zippos. And uh, that's how you tell and that's how you learn. Uh, and uh, what a lot of people don't know is they'll see these Zippos and they won't see it saying Bradford anywhere. And they'll naturally assume like say this, say it didn't say Petro Canada on the front, right? Say it was just a regular slim and it just had this on the bottom. You'd look at it. You'd be like, oh, oh uh, Cool Zippo, you wouldn't know that's Niagara Falls because on the seventies, on the seventies Zippos, they didn't uh, Niagara Falls didn't stamp Niagara Falls on the bottom. But look at any American seventies Zippo, it'll say Bradford right there, or it'll say it'll say USA sometimes. Sometimes it says only Bradford, like, but it does say that it's from the USA. I don't have any American seventies Zippos. I don't collect a lot of American Zippos, uh, just like collectible ones, but. Uh, if you do look it up online, you will see that all the 70s from America have the Bradford on it or USA or something else other than just plain Zippo with the date markers, okay? And then to know that you have an original insert, you can see it doesn't have the dimples here on each side here that holds it into the case like the new ones do. You can see it says Niagara Falls, Ontario. It has no date anywhere and it has writing on both sides. That's how you know this is a 70s era insert also because they didn't have any dates and they had writing on both sides. When you get earlier, they don't have anything on the one side. It's just all on the thing. So it is the authentic original insert. As you, on the price tag, you can see I paid $9.99 for it. It's probably worth 25, 30 bucks. I don't know, it's got a big dent in it though. But it is a 70s slim Petro Canada Zippo, so it's a little more collectible just because the Petro Canada pe people down there, you might collect uh, your American, your classic American gas companies and uh, things like that. People up here will connect the, uh, collect the Canadian ones. But yeah, so that's it. And that's the 70s Slim. This is the first 70s Slim Niagara Falls I actually got. And it's got the matching insert. I'm actually very happy about the Zippo, pretty impressed. Uh, it was a great deal. You never know what you find in your pawn shops. And a lot of the time, too, a lot of people ask me, oh, well, uh, where do you get most of your, where do you find all these Zippos all the time? And because I always have these collectible Zippos. And I, my main three things is I go to the pawn shops, I go to antique stores, and talk to old guys. Make friends with old guys. Like, I'm telling you, you see an old guy in an antique store, uh, shoot him a chat. Tell him you're looking for Zippos. You'd be surprised how many Zippos I got just because... I talk to an old guy a lot of the times like uh they'll be like yeah I got some and sometimes they're not Niagara Falls and sometimes they're uh just older American ones but they're still good to have you know toss them 20 bucks do them a favor for even showing them to you and you can take the lighters if you want you know all, all, the old guys all have these and back in the day these were really cheap but uh, would you would you buy a refillable Bic and try to keep it for 30 years no you, no you wouldn't you'd throw it out and get another one and a lot of them did that too so uh a lot of these old guys have drawers of these. They have like six or ten in there. And some of them are missing lids or whatever. Big deal. Send it to Zippo. They'll fix it for you and send it back. All in original pieces. That's what I did with a couple of my Zippos. Uh, this one right here was missing the lid. As you can see, it's got a new lid but an old body. But still collectible. Yeah, it's Niagara Falls. Uh, 19 something, 97 or something. But anyway, so that's my cool uh, Niagara Falls Slim. And that's how to tell if you got a Niagara Falls 70 Zippo. Is it won't have anything on the bottom. Because if you picked one of these up and the insert was an old American one, you'd think, oh, this is American Zippo. No, it's not. It doesn't say Bradford on it. That's how you know it's in Niagara Falls. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And I got another Zippo too, uh, 1998 uh, Iron Workers of Ontario uh, Zippo, Niagara Falls. So uh, check that vid out. It'll be coming in a week or so. And uh, take care, everyone. If you got any questions, just ask.